Want to make your PTZ camera wireless? Check out Ada's PoE Com. It provides PoE power to any device and then allows you to connect it to your wireless network anywhere in your studio. So what do we have here? We've got a 12 volt power supply. We've got our ethernet connecting to the camera and then we have a power switch. And on top here, we have a slot for an NPF style battery. So we can power it either by battery or from a 12 volt power supply. And just to show you that I have nothing up my sleeve, I am controlling this camera with this Scarhoy controller wirelessly through our network router to our wireless office and then connecting from this unit, which is being powered just by a battery, through this single cable, it's providing power, the control to move it, and video. So speaking of video, let's take a look at some different IP formats that we can use with the Ada IPCOM. So we have added an NDI signal in here and we've added an SRT signal in here because the uh, Ada camera supports both NDI HX3 and uh, SRT. And you'll see that there's a difference between the two. Uh, wireless networks aren't really great for NDI. It is totally possible to do it, but uh, you need a really uh, robust mesh network and with regular consumer stuff, generally uh, NDI isn't going to be the ideal way to go. Fortunately, the Ada camera has SRT output, so we've added an SRT signal in here, which is working perfectly all the time without dropping frames. The only downside is, is that it's a well, we've added a thousand milliseconds of delay in there to overcome the dropped uh, bits that are getting lost between uh, the two wireless points. So that is uh, a little bit of a dynamic consideration when you're thinking about doing wireless video um, is to take into account any noise that might be around and be able to compensate for that. If the IPCOM PoE provides power and wireless, why can't we use it with any device? So why not? In this case, what we've done is we've taken a Scarhoy controller, which gets its power from PoE, and it is sending its uh, commands wirelessly through the network uh, to the camera. So we are getting the same sort of situation, except for now we've made the wireless controller wireless. And if we had multiple of these, I could have a wireless controller. For example, let's say I wanted to run a church service, but I didn't want to be in the control room. I could just bring this with me out to the pews, or I'm sure you can think of a million applications because this will drive any PoE device and it will connect it to your wireless network. So we could control the camera wirelessly from a wireless controller and all of it's getting power and all of it's battery powered. And that, I mean, I'm sure you can think of a lot of different ways that this can go. And that's Ada's IPCOM. It is an amazing device for connecting just about anything wirelessly to your network and giving it PoE power. So it's got a lot of applications. It's pretty cool. If you have any further questions, check us out at usbroadcast.co. And once again, I'm Eric Pratt. Thanks for watching.